Is your dog peeing on the rug? Is, is your dog drinking out of the toilet? Are you giving your dog enough water and letting them out? Of course you want to let the dogs out and you want to make sure that they have enough water. You need water too. Now, the most important thing about trombone playing is control. You have to have self-control, self-discipline, and be able to manage your dynamics and <clears throat> your speed and your articulation and blend and balance. The most important thing about being a trombone player, it's blend and balance and precision. Let me demonstrate some exercises to help you play higher, louder, quieter, and in more control with your air speed. The first exercise is a flexibility thing where you kind of yodel between diff different uh, notes in the overtone series. <laughs> Another thing is be able to <clears throat> toggle between octaves. <laughs> That's found in the art of trombone. Another thing is sl slide motion. <laughs> Now, have you ever heard the dog whistle approach? A lot of trumpet players like to play high and loud and powering. Uh, <clears throat> Well, you could, as a trombonist, you can do everything a trumpet, trumpet player can and a saxophone player can on the bandstand. But you have to be responsible about it. And um, <clears throat> ranges and everything, blend is. So we, let's do some <clears throat> octave exercises. This is the Bobby Shoe method. I can continue this, um, but <clears throat> as a trombone player, you're generally a tenor, a baritone, or a bass, or a contrabass. But <clears throat> all in all, trombone players have to work on accuracy, precision, blend, balance, control, phrasing, articulation. We have to be able to make adjustments. And we have to learn from our mistakes, and then people will follow us. <laughs>